Welcome once again to the Autodromo Internazionale Enzo e Dino Ferrari. The clue's in the name. This is very much Ferrari home turf, and the locals will be out in force today to support their team in what we hope will be a magnificent spectacle of motorsport. On then to the Emilia Romagna Grand Prix. 3.1 miles of track here at Imola featuring 19 turns, 9 to the right and 10 to the left. Remember that Imola differs from most other Formula 1 circuits as it's driven anti-clockwise. Let's hope no one forgets that today. The exit from turn 18 will probably be the setup for many of today's overtakes, leading as it does into the longest straight of the circuit and its only DRS zone. And I'm joined once again by Anthony Davidson to bring you the lowdown for today's race. Let's have a chat about McLaren. We have a number of changes to the aerodynamic regulations this year, and the signs haven't looked good for them so far in terms of getting to grips with those changes. There are a few downcast looks within the team this weekend. I think they've been hit fairly hard by the new regs. But this is only the first step down a long road of development. And even if they don't maximise their points today, there are plenty more up for grabs this season. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. An immense lap from Carlos Sainz yesterday puts him in pole position, edging out Max Verstappen, who'll start from P2. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Bottas, Hamilton, Sebastian Vettel, and Gasly, Norris, Ricardo, Ocon, and Charles Leclerc, Sonoda, Joe, Lance Stroll, and Tictum. Hunt, Eilert, George Russell and Mick Schumacher, Giovinazzi and Nicholas Latifi. Now, it's almost time for lights out, so let's go down to the track. Fantastic. You've won the Grand Prix. Great effort there from Ferrari to take the victory today. 
Anthony Davidson a resounding victory today. What set them apart from the rest? I think we'll chalk this one up to a deft touch on the brake pedal. That's allowed them to challenge down the inside into the braking zones, and ultimately, if you do that often enough, you end up winning the race. It was great to watch as well, though, wasn't it? Forget strategy, forget tyre management. Who doesn't love a good old-fashioned scrap? Looking at the podium, you can see that red suit familiar to fans across the globe. A world-class win for a world-class team. Ferrari do it again. increases their championship lead. Let's focus on the driver of the day. Anthony Davidson, who do you pick? I have to give it to Hunt. That was a commanding performance today. Very impressive indeed. Let's move on to the constructors. No change in the top spot, but with today's points, their hold on the lead is getting weaker. Meanwhile, good work from Aston Martin this weekend, who pushed themselves further up the order. And with that, we wrap up another weekend of motorsport. But with more races lined up, be sure to join us when we come back with more Formula One.